my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel what is the vibe my beautiful Bye. tribe so my little boy is in here i'm trying to tell him to shh, 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 a little bit because you know he wants to be by me and that's my best friend that's my other best friend my daughter is my best friend and we are just a three like we're a little three peas in a pod okay but you know all in all let's tap into this video okay subscribe to your girl's channel get your girl past 1k we can do this let's start supporting women and men of god more and more and more okay i see all these other platforms with people who just they literally like i mean they're just partying and drinking okay and they got millions of subscribers they got thousands of subscribers okay and god is calling his people to come on guys let's support each other okay you don't have to resonate with every joshi joshi keep it down you don't have to resonate with every single video that a woman or a man of god posts in order to stay subscribed to them what you should do is be supporting them and and wait for that message that belongs to you we don't want every message to belong to us and if it does then it's that that's a confirmation for you okay but we are being called to support each other okay but let's tap into this video right snatch your peace in the dark okay this is what you guys did and, and god guided you to do this okay god guided you guys to snatch your peace back okay and some of you guys had to do it in the dark because these crazy enemies of ours okay they're out here and the lights are always on they can't sleep okay so they're waiting and they're looking and they're thinking about you and they're they can't sleep okay you know those people who can't sleep and they're always up okay these are our enemies all right let's go you guys snatched your peace back in the darkest time in your life, you snatched your peace back. So a lot of you guys went through a, a hard situation in your life and you didn't know what to do. You knew who to turn to, but you didn't turn to God yet, okay? And, and God encouraged you that you were losing your peace. You were losing who you were because you gave it to someone, okay? And then God god encouraged you okay the angels encouraged you to take what take what's yours take back what is yours someone stole it from you or you gave it to them okay sometimes we give our peace back because you know we we are in a situation where we're being nice we're being kind we're, we're truly in love with someone and we give them our peace we give them a part of us that they don't deserve because they took it and they're abusing it or they did abuse it okay and god says quietly okay so that i won't have you in the middle of a, a conflict okay i want you to take your peace back do it while these people are not looking do it in the dark because in the dark our enemies love it they love to love 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 they love the dark okay they love the dark let's tap into it joshi be quiet a little bit okay he's playing with us um you guys got tired and you got fed up okay that a lot of these people were projecting their darkness onto you a lot of them were projecting their darkness onto you everything that these people said that you were is exactly who they are okay they said that you did this that is who they are that is what they did they said that you did this that is who they are that is what they did but they want everybody to believe that you are it when you were not it and they convinced a lot of people that you did this that you did that and you didn't okay and they're projecting all right this is what they do it's for is their projection protection joshi joshi stop please joshi i'm gonna take the boxes take them in queen's room i need those boxes with me okay you know um they're very sneaky people all right <laughs> Um, but they forgot a person connected to God doesn't need to see or be in the room to see or hear the plots. We don't need to be in a room with these people when they're talking about us. We don't need to see what they're doing. We don't need to do any of that, right? The discernment that God gives us is well known inside of us, but it's unknown to them, okay? They don't know what's going on outside of the room that they're in. They have to be in that room in order to know no. what exactly. Joshi, Joshi. They have to be in that room in order to know exactly what is going on. We don't, okay? Our intuition tells us when things are going on. God tells us when things are going on. The angels tell us when things are going on. You know what I'm saying? So we knew when to go. God knew when for us to go. And God made a way for us to go. And we took back what is ours. We took back our peace. We took back our energy. We took back our inheritance. We took, about, we took back everything that belongs to us. And now a lot of these enemies who are out there, okay they were tagging along even though we were not with them they were tagging along what we gave them okay because the positivity the holy spirit the life that we hold was blessing them okay even if we were not around them it was blessing them because they carried it with us because we allowed it we allowed them to continue to carry it but now that you and i have taken back everything that was ours they can't carry it anymore they're upset they have anxiety they've gone bonkers because they don't have it anymore and they can't find it because everybody who they're around doesn't have what we have they, just don't they don't have what we have. They only have what they have. Darkness, insecurities, fear, and trauma. 
okay? When we healed our trauma, we let go of these grudges, we let go of the fear, and we have faith now, okay? We have God now, and they don't. So now that we have pulled our energy back, now that you pulled your energy back, they don't know what to do. They don't know where to turn to because everybody around them is a yes hype man. Everybody around them will only kiss their cheeks if something is in, is in for them. When you were the real deal, you told them how it was and you told them what to do and how to, they, you were the backbone of a lot of your enemies, okay? And now they don't have you. So they're pretending and they're living in this false reality that everything is cool and it's not, okay? Because you snatched your peace back, you snatched your energy back, they don't know what to do without you. Okay, but you will never hear that part from their mouths because they're telling people that they're better without you, but they're absolutely not. All right, let's tap into it some more. Um, whether they receive okay, so you took your piece back and you also sent them peace. I sent peace back. I tried you okay? She hit her head. I tried to make peace with a lot of the people who backstabbed me, who betrayed me. I tried to make peace. I gave them peace. I gave them an offering. But guess what? Some of them, a lot of them denied it. They pushed it back because they're still dark on the inside. They can't say I'm sorry. They can't apologize. They can't tell the truth. They can't do any of that. Okay? So I took everything that I, I gave them back. All right? And now they're left with everything that they have that they can't even face. Okay? Themselves themselves it doesn't matter who they're around they still have to face themselves because a lot of the people that are around them look just like them they act just like them and they're looking at themselves and that is why they're not happy as well all right let's tap into it some more um we don't want our enemies to suffer i don't i don't want my enemies to suffer not one bit don't don't want to do it never did want them to suffer and you guys i know you didn't either okay but that's what they worked for us they wanted us to suffer they wanted us to suffer they wanted this and that all of the bad things that they wanted it for us. And that's sad, right? Um, you went silent, okay? You dodged the attacks and they got mad. Your, your enemies got mad because you dodged each and every attack. You dodged each and every black magic spell. You dodged everything, okay? You dodged it. And you didn't dodge it on purpose. God wanted you to dodge it because it wasn't for you. You dodged it and a lot of it boomeranged back to them. And then a lot of the, the things that they wanted for you is happening to them right now. A lot of conflict is happening to them right now. And it's not your fault. It is not your fault if you see your enemies fall off one by one, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. It's not your fault. It's not. Because you pray for them. You try to make it work with them. You want peace with them. And they kept going after a soul that didn't belong to them. Okay? Yours. It doesn't belong to them. You don't belong to them. I don't belong to my enemies. I belong to God. You belong to God. And God is showing them right now that they don't belong to you. Okay, they don't belong to you. Stop trying to come for them. Um, we know that our prayers are heard. God says, I hear you. Okay, I hear you. God hears your prayers. Okay, um, take back what's yours, and that is peace and so much more. Let's look happen to it. We got a little bit more. Um, when you snatched it back, okay, and you ran to God, God is your number one. God is your number one dad. God is your number one father. God is our number one daddy. Okay, that is the person that is the first person before we even go to our real dad that we should be going to is God. You know what I'm saying? Um, with our peace, um, we placed it in the heart, in the hands of God. We did. And now he has all of you. He God says, I have all of you. You gave him all of you and they no longer have anything, nothing. Even if they gossip, they can't feel you anymore. Okay. So before when these people were trying to trigger you, they were trying to make you mad, make you jealous, make you whatever. Okay. You got triggered. You, you showed them that you love them. Right. And that gave them a little bit of an energy. They, you, you, in, you engage with them. When we engage with the wicked, they get off on it. They love it, okay? Because it makes them feel good. They want us to care because we are above what they're doing. So they figure, oh my gosh, you know what? You care still, and they get upset. Even if you're mad, they get it. They get, they get, wait, they get upset that you're happy, okay? And even if you're mad, they're still happy because they want some sort of, they want some sort of a connection with you. It's really, it's toxic, right? Um, you guys get what I'm saying, right? I got the words twisted there. Okay, let's go here. Um, your energy is not with them, okay? Um, when we when we argue back, we give them parts of us that they don't deserve, all right? When we give all of us to God, God gives us discernment, okay? 
He drives, and, and, and this drives them bonkers. Our discernment drives them bonkers because we know what they're they're doing. We know the energy. We can look at people and read them, and it drives our enemies bonkers because they know they can't face us anymore with the lie. They can't face us with anything but the truth and a good and kind heart, okay? And this is why a lot of your enemies, they won't even come around you. They can't even look you in the face because, one, they still want to be with you. They still want to be in your, in, your, in your circle. Two, they know that you know, you know, you know when they're up to no good, all right? So they don't come around you, all right? They can't face you. Um, wish them peace. Okay. Wish them peace. And I want you, life is precious. Life is beautiful. All right. Receive peace from the most high and rebuke any and all evil that someone tries to send your way every single day. Rebuke it, rebuke, rebuke, re rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It does not belong in you. It does not belong around you. It does not belong anywhere in your energy. It does not belong anywhere in your mind, body, and soul. Rebuke everything that someone tries to send, whether you know they send it or not, rebuke it. All right. With that being said, guys, I love you so much. That is it for this video. Please, please support me on this journey. But I always say it's bigger than me. And subscribe and support. Give me a thumbs up and share this content. Love you guys. Bye.